the road to Halloween Mania runs through Bourbon. This is Pro Wrestling King. Welcome everybody, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Guy Johnson. And today we'll present you with one heck of a match card you do not want to miss. Where we will see championships on the line, tag team action, singles action. May the 4th be with you as we prepare to welcome our show host. And you heard it right, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready to cheer who you love and boo who you hate. As Pro Wrestling King is proud to be back here in Bourbon. And we kick off the show with tag team action. There is a twist and flip. Darren Fly and Nate Cobain. These two right here made their official Pro Wrestling King debut back in 2022 where they suffered a loss. Well, today they have a huge opportunity to pick up a win. And of course, by just watching them interact with the crowd, you realize that they will not be cheered that much. And just listen to those boos there by the fans. Oh, Darren Fly there showcasing his athleticism and agility. It looks like the crowd here not enjoying twist and flip so much And there are their opponents, Jack Feller and Eddie Grayson. There's Eddie Grayson wearing red, 16 years old. And Jack Feller wearing green, 18 years old. Tremendous potential, these two right here, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, you can also Hear the change from the crowd's noise as it's all cheers and love for this two right here. Hello. 
Now both teams of course getting ready. Each team now on their corner, the referee now checking out with both teams. And it's going to be Jack Veller now to kick off this match for his team. And on the other side, it's going to be uh, Darren Fly, the referee checking up. Darren Fly. And look at Nate Cobain, they're refusing. Not allowing there the referee to do his job. And there we go, the match officially begins. Look at Darren Fly, not happy with the crowd. They're cheering for Jack Feller. Oh, and now Darren Fly refusing to shake the hand of Jack Feller. There we go. The cover, could they steal one this quick? And a kick out there by Darren Fly, who now is gonna try and steal one. Cover again and a kick out at two. A takedown, cover once again, kick out. And there's Darren Fly trying his luck as well. And a kick out by Jack Feller. Oh, beautiful athleticism. Went for the kick, he got caught. Oh, what a forearm smash to the face. And now Jack Feller capitalizing, oh beautiful clothesline, cover once again, and a kick out. Incredible start there by Jack Feller, look at Darren Fly, frustrated. After this start, and it's going to be now Nate Cobain and Eddie Grayson. It's their turn. Eddie Grayson remembers 16 years old. Tremendous potential for this young man. Oh, and there's a... Now Nate Coben from behind trying to lift up. Oh, Eddie Grayson using the strength to his advantage. And now with the headlock keeping the young man down. Eddie Grayson back on his feet. Try now to escape. Pushes Nate Coben towards the ropes. A beautiful leapfrog there. Oh, what a kick! Po, po, po! Wow! Eddie Grayson proving that age is just a number now. A tag made there by Jack Feller, who is the legal man. I don't think Ned Coben realizes actually this. Oh, what a kick there by Jack Feller, who now is ready to fly. On the top, turnbuckle crossbody that connects, cover, two, and Nate Coben kicks out. Jack Feller wasting little time, trying to keep Nate Coben down, of course. You can talk about the experience of Twist and Flip as, you know, they've been in that ring longer than both Jack Feller and Eddie Grayson, but having the experience does not mean does not guarantee you to pick up the win on the matches and now watch this beautiful chemistry on full display drop kick right on the money cover and a kick out still not enough get Kobe now in pain you can see that by reading his facial expression trying to get back on his feet and the crowd chanting Eddie behind the young man now there's Nate Coben fighting trying to break free sending Eddie oh wait a minute there's the kick there by Darren Fly oh and now Nate Coben capitalizing backbreaker oh you better believe that hurts oh and now a kick a look at Darren Fly, they're trash talking. Eddie Grayson, tag now has been made. Darren Fly, the legal man. As Eddie Grayson is cornered, oh, running uppercut there on the corner. And again, another tag has been made. It's Twist and Flip now showcasing their chemistry. Oh, my goodness, step up insecurity. 
Watch this! Po, po, po! And now it's uh, Nate Cobin's turn! Oh my god! The cover now! To Owen oh, Eddie Grayson refuses to stay down! Tremendous resilience show now by oh, Eddie Grayson, who now is trying to fight back, but it's not gonna be that easy. Oh! Now he finally has an opening. A look at Nate Coben using the strength to his advantage once again. Oh, vertical suplex. Cover once again, could it be? Two and a kick out. Nate Coben getting frustrated. Oh, strike now to the back and look at Jack Veller who wanted to make the tag, but Nate Coben making sure that does not happen. Oh, right hand. And there's Nate Coben, oh my God, taking down Jack Veller. And Veller who did not like this and look at Darren flying out the numbers game. And Nate Coben, the punishment continues to be unleashed. Oh my goodness. Look at Eddie Grayson there struggling to breathe. After that nasty stump there on his neck. Tag now made. Twist and flip dominating this match. What a chop to the chest. Oh, and a running forearm there on the corner. And once again, the chemistry thereby. Twist and flip, po, po, po. Eddie Grayson down on the ground. And again, another tag that has been made. Watch this, watch this. Oh, kick straight on the face. And now Eddie Grayson in position. Stomp right on the chest. Cover once again. Two and a kick out. There's Darren Fly trying again. Trying to keep Eddie Grayson down, but the young man refusing to stay down. Jack Failer desperate to get in the ring. But of course, this will depend if Eddie Grayson will be able to overcome the punishment that is being unleashed upon him. And now Darren Flynn left it up. Eddie Grayson, oh! Oh, and again another forearm trying to take down Jack Feller, who, of course, did not like that. Meanwhile, Twist and Flip continue handling business. The numbers came. Oh! And of course, we talked about the experience earlier of Twist and Flip that does not guarantee you always to win a match, but it does guarantee you to know more tricks. Oh, wait a minute, there's Eddie Grayson trying to go for the cover. Oh, there we go. Two, and a kick out there by Nate Corbin, who hangs on into the leg there of Eddie Grayson. Oh, kick to the chest. And here we go now, Nate Corbin lifting up Eddie Grayson. Take a look at that. Oh my God, now just punishing that back. Eddie Grayson in danger. Is he gonna tap out? Refusing to quit. And watch this now. Oh, beautiful. Way there to escape. Eddie Grayson finally with an opening to make the tag. Will he be able to do it? Jack Feller on fire. He's close, oh, and Darren Fly from out of nowhere. Wait a minute, Eddie Grayson pushing away Darren Fly. Oh, and Nate Coben using his brain. Twist and flip out, smarting their opponents. A look at Darren Fly dragging there, Eddie Grayson with him to the corner now with those shoulder thrusts, keeping him there. Oh, what a forearm smash to the face. Eddie Grayson, who was close there to make the tag, but still 
Not enough. And now the punishment continues. Oh. Cover now. Two and a kick out by Eddie Grayson. Once again, cover. And shoulders up by Eddie Grayson. Twist and flip with the experience, but of course, Jack Veller and Eddie Grayson, two young men with incredible potential. Oh. Despite not having the experience, they have the fire, the motivation, and of course, the hunger to show themselves the excitement to prove yourself. Look at Eddie Grayson now unloading towards Nate Goldman. Oh, super kick. And now Eddie Grayson sent towards the ropes. The doctor now, watch this. Beautiful agility. Po, po, po. Wow. And now Jack Feller fired up. Could now finally Eddie Grayson make the tag. And the crowd chanting tag, tag, tag. There's Jack Feller ready to come out. Oh, and there we go. Finally, Jack Feller now in Darren Fly. There's Jack Feller. Oh. Dr. Nobai, Darren Fly, Jack Veller landing on his feet. Drop kick from behind that sends Darren Fly to the corner. Oh, beautiful cannonball. And a German suplex. There's Nate Coben there interfering. Not allowing Jack Veller to go for the cover. Oh, right hand and Jack Veller trying to fight back. In the numbers game being a huge factor. Twist and fully making sure it's two on one most of the time. Now sending Jack Feller towards the ropes. Oh, the duck now by Jack Feller who pushes that kill went towards it. Darren Fly, oh. And watch this, neck breaker. Wow. Incredible maneuver. Taking out both men. Look at Eddie Grayson. I believe it's their turn now to showcase the chemistry. Oh my God. Right on the just there by Eddie Grayson. And there we go. German suplex and a close line. Cover. Could it be? And there's Nate Copen with a stomp. Breaking the count. What a match! Both teams now on the ground. And the referee of course is counting. The four men struggling to get back on their feet. And there we go! Oh! Now both teams hitting each other. Chops being delivered. Forearm smashes and oh! Listen to the impact. Oh, and remember, it's Jack Feller and Darren Flight, the legal man. What a double super kick upon Eddie Grayson. And now, Jack Feller, oh, kick to the midsection. Oh, face first into the knee. Oh, good night, Jack Feller. And now twist and flip, looking forward to finish this match. The cover. Oh! Unbelievable. Darren Fly cannot believe it. How did Jack Feller survive that in a super kick now by Nate Coben? Wasting again, little time. As they set. Jack Feller into position. Twist and flip working together. Oh, meets the knees. And now Eddie Grayson, Panama Sunrise. Unbelievable.
And now, Eddie Gresson realizing he's got an opening knee strike to the face. Jack Baylor lifting up Darren Fly. As Eddie Grayson, oh wait a minute, Darren Fly now landing on his feet, pushing away. Jack Feller going for the cover, could he steal one? Three, there we go. Twist and flip. Steal a victory away from Jack Feller and Eddie Grayson. Unbelievable victory. Wow. And look at Jack Feller there who cannot believe it. And indeed, the experience does not guarantee you wins, but it does guarantee you to have more knowledge than your opponent. And of course, to come up with tricks from out of nowhere, twist and flip. Outsmarted their opponents and picked up a new win here at Pro Wrestling King. And the crowd, they're acknowledging the performance of these two young men here. Ladies and gentlemen, remember the names, Jack Baylor and Eddie Grayson. minute I don't think our show host expected some visit here while trying to announce the next match and there he is that's Tony Bertorelli who's making his return here at Pro Wrestling King after getting suspended welcome back Tony I don't think the crowd is actually happy to see Tully back. That did not help so much, the crowd is still Oh, and there's more visit. We got more guests coming.
Well, you heard it. Tully is allowed to be back, but he must partake in that over the top gauntlet match. Well, the show must go on, ladies and gentlemen, as they say. As we are ready now for singles action, there is Anthony Lee. This man here is known as the Lost Cause. It doesn't look like actually the fans are appreciating his presence. as this is not the way you want to be received when you're walking into the ring. And there is his opponent, Damien Easterday, making his way now into the ring. And you can clearly hear the change now of the reaction of the crowd who are happier. Cheering there for Damien Easterday. Look at how happy he is there, sharing also high fives with the crowd. The referee now doing his job by checking on Damien there. Oh, and look at Anthony there, not allowing the ref. Well, at the end, the referee got it. He got to do what he needed to do. Checking out both men, and there's the match that officially now begins. Anthony Lee, Damien Easterday, one on one. And here we go, now it's uh, Anthony Lee. Damien Easterday trying there to escape as Anthony Lee, oh, beautiful way to break free. And now Damien Easterday from behind with the left arm of Anthony Lee. And it's Lee turning the tables around, trying to take down Damien using his strength now to his advantage and there's Damien once again escaping not intimidated so far by the size of his opponent and here we go once again it's oh a chop there now to the back oh and a chop now to the chest and a third one Anthony Lee who's now sent towards the ropes oh Damien tried to go for the takedown ducking there the close line oh Still Anthony Lee now standing on his feet and a drop kick and Anthony Lee finally going down to the ground and rolling to the outside. Not happy with the outcome here. 
A look at Damien wasting little time there and going after Anthony Lee. Oh, and a right hand. Oh, and now a strike there to the back. Oh, and a chop. Damien yesterday giving Anthony Lee a medicine of his own. And look at, oh, look at the lost cause there going for the eyes. And of course now Damien not being able to see nothing. Oh, and now Anthony Lee was able to regain the control, the cover, two, and a kick out. The Lost Cause now delivering the punishment to his opponent, stretching both arms. And look at Damien refusing to quit. Now finally back on his feet, oh! Now with those elbow strikes there to the stomach and there's uh, Anthony Lee not allowing Damien Priest to gain any sort of advantage. Oh, what a strike again to the back! And now Anthony Lee using the rope as a weapon, using it to his own advantage. The punishment agenda continues. Oh! And watch this now. Anthony Lee lifted up. Damien Easter, a vertical suplex that connects. Cover and a kick out. Wow! Incredible resilience shown here by Damien Easter, despite. Receiving a punishment, he still does not quit and refuses to go down so easily. Damien again resisting and watch this now Damien trying to take Anthony Lee into the corner and there's a forearm now. Successfully sends Anthony Lee now into the corner, there's Damien, oh what a corner close line. Damien is there right now, finally in control. Oh, and Anthony Lee from out of nowhere. Pushing away Damien yesterday. Who tried to go for the running bulldog there. Oh boy, watch this. Down goes Damien. Incredible strength. Showcased cover. And a kick out again. Anthony Lee wondering what do I have to do to finish off this man. Look at Damien, they're struggling to get back on his feet. And now Anthony Lee looking forward to finalize this match again. Damien resisting, going for the left arm. Oh, now strike. Oh my goodness. The face there. And there's now Damien Easterday. Wow. Unbelievable. And a drop kick sending Anthony Lee into the corner. It's now or never Damien Easterday realizing he's got an opening. Anthony Lee trying to get back on his feet. Same with Damien there. Both men. And here we go, corner close line. And there's the running bulldog that successfully strikes the cover. Now could it be? And a kick out by Anthony Lee. Wow. Damien Easterday came close, but still it is not enough to pick up the win. Again, now both men back on their feet. And look at Damien, they're lifting up Anthony Lee up on his shoulders. Watch this. Oh, and there's the Lee now back on his feet, driving. Oh my God, Damien, they're in the corner. 
Oh boy, and there we go! What a powerful close line! Cover! Anthony Lee defeats Damien here at Pro Wrestling King. And of course the crowd not happy with the result. The Lost Cause picked up a win after an incredible performance. He was able to kick out and he saw an opening there pushing away Damien into the corner and capitalizing with that powerful clothesline that finished off his opponent. The Lost Cause walks out as the winner. A look at Damien there needing the help of the referee to walk away. And ladies and gentlemen, let's hear next from our show host. Oh, it looks like our show host just got interrupted here.
And there she is, the Pro Wrestling King Women's Champion, Kenzie Black. Oh, and look at her refusing to shake the hands of the fans. Arguing there with the crowd, of course. Kenzie Black. Feeling like she does not get the respect she deserves. As can you shall receive, I believe someone has answered the challenge that Kenzie Black just laid out for her Pro Wrestling King Women's Championship. And it is Paris McQueen knocking on the door. Ready to capitalize on this opportunity, Paris McQueen now sharing the high fives with the crowd. The opposite of what Kenzie Black actually did earlier when she tried to get in the ring. A look at the champ, they're not intimidated. Oh, 
Oh, wait, wait a second, because uh, there's more people answering to the challenge. There's Yensin. The Death Rider. Jensen also wanting to take a part of this. As she shares some high fives there with the crowd and her happiness with them. Jensen, who made her debut back in 2020, three years in ring experience. And this is a golden opportunity for her. And Kenzie Black not intimidated. Jensen giving a kiss there to her championship. Could maybe be the last time she does. Triple threat match, Jensen, Kenzie Black and Paris McQueen ready to fight for that gold. And the match now officially begins, remember, Triple threat rules, Kenzie Black, despite being the champion, she does not need to be pinned in order to lose her championship. And look at her now asking Paris McQueen to work together against Jensi Nadersa. Jensi not afraid of the numbers game. Oh! And now Paris and Kenzie in control of this match. Two on one situation. Send the Yensin towards the ropes. Oh, and now with both arms, taking down both women. Wow, incredible strength. And there's an answer there by Paris and Kenzie Black, double drop kick, taking down Yensin, who rolls out of the ring. And wait a minute now, Kenzie Black, tricking Paris McQueen there. A look at Paris now going after the left arm of the champion. Now Kenzie Black trying to escape, successfully does it. Turns the tables around and dragging Paris McQueen now to the corner. Still targeting that left arm. And Ruby McQueen there breaking free. There's the headlock on the champion, Kenzie Black, who now is suffering in pain. And you can see that clearly described in her face. Now Kenzie Black, the one turning the tables around. As she's got Paris McQueen now. Back on her feet, pushing away Kenzie Black towards the ropes. Oh, and a shoulder block. The champion striking. Here we go now, beautiful takedown there by Paris McQueen. Kenzie Black quickly back on her feet again. Another takedown. Kenzie Black now on the corner. Oh, big boot to the face. And there we go, there's a close line. Kenzie Black now in full control. Oh, what a chop to the chest! 
Kenzie Black enjoying her momentum flexing upon the crowd. As she's now sent towards the ropes and a drop kick there. Paris McQueen answering back to the challenge and blowing her a kiss. Oh, hip attack! That connects the cover. And a kick out there, Kenzie Black refuses to go down. And watch this now. Paris McQueen. Oh, wait a minute. There's Paris McQueen now punishing Kenzie Black. Take a look at that. Wow, just stretching her body. Oh, and Jensen back in this match. Oh. Kenzie Black now dragging Paris McQueen from her hair. Oh, with a right hand. Oh, and a kick now. Kenzie Black in full control, having both women down. Now Paris McQueen trying to fight back. And a takedown to the mat. Incredible performance by the champion. Despite being in a triple threat match, not intimidated by her opponents. Oh, what a chop again to the chest. And here we go now, Kenzie Black with a running forearm there on the corner. And she's not done yet. Oh, super kick. What a dominance we've seen so far from Kenzie Black, who again looking forward to capitalize the cover. Oh, and there's Jensen breaking the cover. Jensen, who remember, she was attacked by both Paris McQueen and Kenzie Black at the beginning of this match now. Oh, and look at... Paris McQueen there tried to step up now again, stepping up with a forearm smash and Jensen quickly answering back. Now both women going back and forward. Oh, and Paris McQueen now unloading upon the Death Rider. She's got her cornered. Oh, and misses there. The corner body avalanche. And look at Jensen capitalizing. There we go. Another forearm smash, followed by a third. Now as she sends Paris towards the corner, oh! And her right hand. And wait a minute, now Paris, oh! Face first! Down goes Jensen, the cover, can we have a new champion? Oh, and Kenzie Black breaking the cover, oh! Could she still one there and... Jensen kicking out again. Now Kenzie Black desperately trying there. Her luck, but still, still not enough. Look at the frustration there on her face. Oh. And now Kenzie Black trying to unload on both women. Oh, DDT to Paris McQueen. Trying to go for the cover by Jensen, quickly cutting her. There as she wants to go for the cover herself and look at Kenzie Black doing the same to her. Remember Pro Wrestling King Women's Championship on the line. Who will leave as a champion here tonight? Kenzie Black. Oh and oh Samoan drop. Down goes Kenzie Black. Wow. Gen Z now back on her feet. What could she be thinking of? And here we go. Oh, Paris McQueen with a code breaker. And there's Kenzie Black trying to steal one going for the cover to retain. That's it. Three, three. Kenzie Black retains her Pro Wrestling King Women's Championship. Wow. You can discuss the way she won, but she still left. 
the match as a champion. She laid out the challenge. The numbers game were not in her favor, but still Kenzie Black overcame Paul Jensen and Paris McQueen. Kenzie Black proud of her title defense. And the show continues, ladies and gentlemen, as we are about to hear again from our show host. continues here at Pro Wrestling King, ladies and gentlemen. Another match, another championship that will be put on the line. And there is Brandon Day, the challenger. Brandon Day, of course, with a huge opportunity, knowing that he could walk out as the new lineal world champion only if he's able to defeat his opponent. And that right there is the man that Brandon Day will have to walk through. Crew sending a message to everyone watching and making his presence known to the Pro Wrestling King fans in the crowd. One-man crew wanting from everyone to acknowledge him as the linear world champion.
And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the match officially begins. One man crew, Brandon Day, lineal world championship on the line. And it's clear to see who the fan favorite is, Brandon Day, yeah, who's enjoying those chants there from the, from the fans, asking for more. There we go, now there's uh, Brandon Day wasting little time going after that left arm of uh, one man crew now, targeting him there, oh! Oh, and once again, making him feel the pain! Now one man crew reaching the ropes. And there's uh, Brandon Day there. I don't think one-man crew like that. Oh, and there we go once again, Brandon Day using his quickness as he's got one-man crew down. There we go, now the cover, but there's a one-man crew again, smart too reach that rope and now Brandon Day has to set him free go now once again now both men testing their strength oh and a kick there to the midsection by one man crew who found an opening there making Brandon Day to go down on his knees Brandon Day looking forward there to get back up. One man crew still pushing him down. Oh, and there's a kick there now to the midsection and a takedown. Oh, and Brandon Day on fire there who strikes with a drop kick. And the champion. Now one man crew outside. The referee is still counting. Here we go now, one man crew finally back on the ring. Brandon Day can smile as he was not happy seeing one man crew there. Oh, and here we go. One man crew now in control. I mean, some can criticize what he did by asking for some time out, but at the end of the day, when you think about it, one man crew was able to slow down the pace from Brandon Day, and now he has the control of the match. He's got him on his knees. Oh, and look at him now going for the eyes. Showing no mercy there. As the trash talking begins. Now scratching that back. Oh, and there's Brandon Day trying to answer back. Oh, what a right hand and a drop kick once again. Now taking one man screw to the corner and those strikes they're raining towards the body of one man crew. And here we go now, it's a uh, one man crew, oh, throw in Brandon Day to the corner, oh my god, what a vicious way. 
Unbelievable there, one man crew just throwing Brandon Day with all his power. And now wasting little time, punishing him. Right hand followed by another one. Oh, face first there. Brandon Day now sent back to the ring, one man crew. Taking his time, slowly. No need to rush, he's the champion. And the punishment there continues, one man crew. Again. And here's a small fact, ladies and gentlemen, about one man crew and Brandon Day. These two men here made their debut back in the year 2000, both with 24 years in ring experience, which means that we're watching almost 50 years of experience between both men combined. And one man crew continuing with his punishment mission. Oh, and look at Brandon Day now, trying again to fight back. And one man crew not hesitating to strike back quickly. Oh, and there's a, oh, Brandon Day, able there to lift up one man crew. Can he capitalize? He's got an opening now. Brandon Day now trying to grasp for some adrenaline. He's got one man crew on the corner. Oh, one man crew there who meets the elbow of Brandon Day. Oh, and now a big boot to the face. Now catches the leg there of Brandon Day. Oh, and watch this. Watch this. The arm of one man crew and Brandon Day. Smart maneuver there. But of course he needs to set him free. Now Brandon Day on the top turn buckle. Ready to fly. Po, po, po. Wow. Cover now. And a kick out. He came close. Brandon Day there. Could not believe that one man crew was able to stay alive. And here we go. Oh, misses the strike. Now again, Brandon Day from behind. Oh, and a powerful clothesline. Unbelievable. Now it's a one man crew going for the cover. And a kick out there. The desperation there in one man crew. That starts to kick in. And look at him now awaiting from Brandon Day to get back on his feet. Brandon Day better be careful. And here we go. He's got him by the neck. Oh, Brandon Day able to escape. What an elbow to the face. Oh, and what a man crew. Oh, the referee got hit. They're on the corner. Oh, and a close line by Brandon Day. The cover. There's no referee. Oh, my goodness, Brandon Day. There was nobody there to make the count. And now Brandon there trying there to awake the, the official. And what is, what is one man crew doing? Oh, well, look at, look at one man crew there with the Linear World Championship in his hands. No way. Oh, misses there. And now Brandon Day's got him. Oh, on the submission maneuver. One man crew in danger. Still the referee. Not there. One man crew tapping out, but the referee. And Brandon Day cannot believe it. He just made the champion tap out. Unbelievable scenes. Oh, and there's a one man crew. 
it's a low blow and now the championship are you kidding me one man crew using the championship there as a weapon and now going for the cover two oh and brandon day kicks out A look at one man crew now still focused laser focused he's got brandon day by the neck choke slam could this be enough again the cover and there we go one man crew retains and still is the lineal world champion And of course, you can just hear by the noise of the crowd. They are not happy with the result. And you have to also feel for Brandon Day, who made the champion tap out, but the referee was not there to see it. One man who does not care about that as he as he only cares about him walking out as the champion and that's it that's the only thing that counts and a disappointed brandon day the crowd they're acknowledging his effort and his incredible performance Look at Brandon Day there, thanking the Pro Wrestling King fans. So, I, I promise I'm not, I'm not going to have any 
Time for some tag team action, just like at the beginning of the show. But this time, it's for those Pro Wrestling Kingdom Tag Team Championships that will be on the line. And there we see Huss, Huxley, and Tony Gunner making their way now into the ring, of course. It doesn't seem like the crowd likes them so much. Johnny Gunner refusing to shake the hand of the fans. Listen to that trash talking there. And both look very confident. As they have a golden opportunity. They take on Funk and Fresh. And there they are, the team that is holding the gold, Funk and Fresh. There's Ivy Fresh there, handing out those high fives. And of course the mood is changing, as the people are dancing alongside Funk and Fresh. Us actually not happy with what he's watching. It's safe to say that Funk and Fresh, both the IB Fresh and MB Funk, have the charisma. You can feel that aura. You can also see that the Pro Wrestling King fans are cheering for them.
And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The time for dancing is over as both teams now are preparing. Again, Pro Wrestling Kingdom Tag Team Championships on the line. Haas Huxley and Tony Gunner don't seem to be very impressed by Funk and Fresh. Tony Gunner, they're making a statement. Sending a message there to Funk and Fresh, saying that this will be our belts by the end of the match. And there we go, it is gonna be uh, Tony Gunner and uh, I be fresh kicking off this match. Donny Gunner there turning his attention to the crowd. And there we go. Oh, look at Donny Gunner quickly after the left arm of. Uh, I be fresh who now is trying to escape. Oh, and watch this beautiful agility there being showcased. But still not able to escape. I be fresh gonna try his luck once again, but still. Tony Gunner not understanding what is going on, and oh, there's the referee actually helping. I be fresh and Tony Gunner wasting little time. Punishing the left arm. Trying to fly. Trying to inflict as much damage as possible and take a look at that, the champion now. Turning the tables around, Dunny Gunner trying to make the tag. Not easy. Oh, and a takedown. As he's got Ivy Fresh now on the ground. Tony Gunner again turning his attention to the crowd, trash talking the fans who were behind Funk and Fresh ever since they came out. Oh, and watch this beautiful way there to escape the headlock. Tony Gunner. Oh, an attack that has been made. It's uh, MB Funk now, the legal man. Oh, and take a look now at the beautiful chemistry by the tag team champions. Oh! An elbow drop by both men, the cover, and a kick out. Still not enough. And here we go now, vertical suplex that connects. Oh, and wait a minute, MB Funk not done yet, showcasing his strength. Oh, take a look at that, wow. And now the cover, and a kick out. MB Funk a little bit confused, not understanding how was that only a two count. Now wasting little time. Oh, and a right hand to the stomach followed by a right hand to the face. Oh, and there's a tag that has been made. And it's gonna be Huss Huxley now the legal man. Oh my god, what a chop that was to the chest. And now, we, oh my goodness. It's going to be now them working together. Did you hear the impact of that chop? Oh, and a powerful clothesline. Down goes MB Funk. Who now, I believe, wants to make the tag. Look at Hus Huxley asking for I'd be fresh to come out. And there we go, Hus Huxley got exactly what he asked for. It's gonna be Ivy Fresh now, the legal man who went there for a close line. But a lot of damage done and once again, still, Hus Huxley on his feet. Oh, and take a look at that, wow, incredible strength.
strength by Huss Huxley who now wastes his little time taking I be fresh with him now on the corner an attack that has been made it's Tony Gunner now the legal man and now those kicks there from Huss Huxley and an elbow drop oh boy take a look at this oh successfully connects listen to i be fresh in pain the cover could we have new champions and a kick out oh tony gunner telling i be fresh he was not supposed to kick out of course tony gunner wanting the gold an elbow drop there and there's another elbow drop oh and a leg drop Tony Gunner on fire cover once again and a kick out the frustration described in Tony Gunner's face who now corners there I be fresh oh and look at him they're distracting the referee and it's a uh, Huss Huxley and their manager just punishing IB Fresh the referee not watching what is going on high ring IQ there using their brain it's this small details that can make you a champion oh beautiful chemistry there And now Huss Huxley going for the cover. And a kick out, still not enough. And now the crowd behind, IB Fresh. And quick strike there by Huss Huxley to keep IB Fresh down. Who now struggles to get back on his feet. Oh, what a chop! And there we go, hip attack! That connects! Us Huxley laughing, of course, how can you not laugh? Us Huxley enjoying his momentum! Oh! And now that kick! As he takes it fresh with him to the corner and another tag that has been made. Donny Gunner and Huss Huxley working together as a team. And Donny Gunner again distracting the referee. Watch this. Oh, again. Not allowing her to turn around and there's MP Funk who has had enough saving his tag team partner. MP Funk was not gonna let that just pass by and now he's the legal man here we go it's him and Huss Huxley wow incredible courage against the big man dropkick sending Huss Huxley to the corner oh running corner uppercut there and I be fresh now the legal man once again and it's uh, Funk and Fresh just turn to work together. Wait a minute. Huss Huxley catching IB Fresh. And there's MB Funk trying there to save him. And now, oh, what a kick and a German suplex. Funk and Fresh. Unbelievable. And again, the tag is made. It's uh, MB Funk now the legal man. Oh, and Tony Gunner there trying to fight back. Beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. MB Funk catching him in the air. Oh, backbreaker. Face first into the mat. And now MB Funk with the submission maneuver. Tony Gunner in pain. Tony Gunner in pain. And there we go. Tony Gunner taps out. Funk. And Fresh retain their Pro Wrestling Kingdom Tag Team Championships. 
And there's the man there that attacked IB Fresh. Earlier while the referee was distracted. I mentioned earlier that the time for dancing was over. Maybe the time for dancing has started once again. After Funk and Fresh retained their titles. And the crowd of course could not be more happier with the scenes we're watching now. And of course, Hasaksli and Tony Gunner and their manager disappointed by the result. On the other side, Funk and Fresh. It's all smiles and happiness. There's MB Funk asking IB Fresh to carry him the same way Huss Huxley did to Tony Gunner. <laughs> the champions celebrating together. Ladies and gentlemen, all rise and get up on your feet as Lord Mitchell Taylor is making his way now to the ring. As he's set to go one-on-one -on -one against Kevin Storm. Crowd not acknowledging and not rising up for Mitchell Taylor. The King feeling disrespected.
Mitchell Taylor making it clear that he will make it. Everyone who disrespects him regret. Well, there's the man that he's going to face. Kevin Storm. ring experience and the referee there trying to do his job but Mitchell Terrell there refusing to and those chants they're getting in the head of uh, Mitchell Taylor as he's not able to focus Now complaining that the referee did not check Kevin Storm. Oh, and wait a minute, there's a... <laughs> Mitchell Taylor hiding something. And now the match officially begins. With the back there of Mitchell Taylor that says, I am the most important piece in the game. Well, let's see. If you will be the most important piece in the game in this match and also make everyone that disrespected him regret it. Now Mitchell Taylor with the headlock. Kevin Storm there trying to escape. He's almost there breaking free. There we go. Oh, what a stomp there. And now Kevin Storm turns the tables around in this match. Oh. Mitchell Taylor, they're asking for mercy and look at Kevin Storm, who does not care. Now Mitchell Taylor, the one trying to escape, Kevin Storm not going to allow him to do that so easily as he keeps him down. Now stretching that left arm. As Mitchell Taylor now is screaming. Desperately trying to figure out how does he escape from this. Oh! And now Mitchell Taylor sent there to the corner. Kevin Storm enjoying his momentum here. Oh! Those right hands raining towards the head of Mitchell Taylor. And wait a minute now. The King has had enough face first into the top turn buckle beautiful reverse oh and now stomping that left hand get ready now to understand why mitchell taylor is the most important piece in the game the king craving his respect oh Answering now the critics of the crowd. What is what is Mitchell Taylor there hiding that the referee is not able to see? Oh, and I think he just used it now as a weapon to attack Kevin Storm. The referee was not able to see what it was. And now, Mitchell Taylor capitalizing, continuing the punishment there. And wait a minute, he's about to do the same thing once again. Hiding that object. Oh, and look at that now, just 
punishing Kevin Storm on the corner with that and the referee still not realizing what is going on. And there we go now, Kevin Storm trying to fight back and oh. Listen to that laugh there by Mitchell Taylor. Enjoying every single second of this. And now, just uh, targeting that neck. Making it hard there for Kevin Storm to breathe. Oh, and here we go now. Kevin Storm again trying to fight back with those elbow strikes. Wait a minute now, Mitchell Taylor, oh my god! Oh! And the cover! And Kevin Storm kicks out! Mitchell Taylor making sure that everyone knows that it was close. He was about to pick up the win. And now the punishment again continuing. Oh my god! goodness powerful strike there by the king who again is going for the cover and still not enough and again Mitchell Taylor not slowing down Oh, and wait a minute, Kevin Storm there! With a right hand of his own. And there's Mitchell Taylor. And again, Kevin Storm turning things around. Both men, they're struggling to keep their balance. Now Mitchell Taylor gonna try his luck for the third time. A doctor now by Kevin Storm, oh my God! Oh, incredible power and strength on full display. As he sends Mitchell Taylor towards the ropes. Oh, kick there by Mitchell Taylor. And a spine buster. Unbelievable. Kevin Storm back on this match. He's got Mitchell Taylor right where he wants. Now climbing to the top. Turn buckle. Oh, and wait a minute. That's, oh, that's twist and flip. Twist and flip. Getting involved here and attacking Kevin Storm. We saw them earlier when they defeated both Jack Feller and Eddie Grayson. And now they're here. Teaming up with Mitchell Taylor. But wait a minute, I don't think... I don't think this was even planned by Mitchell Taylor who... Who is not with the... He's not happy with the actions of uh, Twist and Flip. Oh, and from behind. And it looks like it was not planned by Mitchell Taylor. This attack. And now they throw out the king. The numbers game. On Kevin Storm. Oh, what a kick to the face! The mocking there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the match between Mitchell Taylor and Kevin Storm ends up in, in DQ. The crowd obviously not happy with what just happened here. Kevin Storm there receiving some assistance to walk out after the attack. 
He just suffered. Well, let's hear from our show host to see what's going to happen next. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the over-the-top gauntlet challenge match. There is Tolly Bertorelli, who just came back now from suspension, and he was told that there is a half a dozen men out there ready to compete in this challenge. And the only way he was allowed to be back here at Pro Wrestling King is by taking part of this challenge and remember the rules the only way to win is via pinfall or submission And here we go, who is it going to be first answering this challenge? A very hyped up young man now ready to step up against Tony Bertorelli. And nonetheless, also motivated. Delta and Xavier answering the challenge. Well, let's see if he can do it. And now the match officially begins. Delton Xavier. And Tolly Bertolori actually asking Delton there to clap. I think Tolly wants to hear the crowd. Despite not being well welcomed. He wants to hear the fans and there we go. Let's do this. Oh! Delton Xavier still asking for more, not intimidated despite that powerful push there by Tolly Bertorelli. And here we go now once again, Tolly Bertorelli using the strength there to his advantage, cornering. Oh! Strike there now to the stomach and sending Xavier there to the corner, beautiful! Agility and athleticism and a drop kick, wow! Tremendous courage and there's Tolly Bertorelli who has had enough! Oh, watch this. Oh, and Xavier landing on his feet and a powerful clothesline cover. That's it. Thanks for coming. Tolly Bertorelli takes out the first man. 
And let's see who is the second. Oh boy, and it's a tag team. Answering now this challenge. I believe it's going to be a two-on-one handicap match now that we're going to witness in this gauntlet. Oh, and now they're wasting little time. They're attacking Tolly Bertorelli. Oh! And look at Tolly. They're resisting. Not intimidated by the numbers game. Oh, making both crash there into each other. Watch this. Beautiful strength there. Oh, and a body slam. Oh, the cover. Unbelievable, Tolly Bertorelli now just took out both men. Wow. And let's see who is next. The fourth man now to step up to Tolly Bertorelli. Let's see if he can pull up the miracle. Now both men face to face. Oh, and a right hand there by Ethan Blake. Oh, and a second one. Tolly Bertoller is still on his feet. And there's a third. Oh, and Tolly there beginning to lose his balance. Oh, and a forearm there. And here we go now. Ethan Blake on fire. I just got Tolly there on the corner. Oh, misses there. Well scouted by Tolly Bertolleri, who's got him. Oh, down goes Ethan Blake to the ground. Oh, the cover. Thanks for coming by, Ethan Blake. It's time now for the next uh, challenger. Tolly Bertorelli was able to knock out four men. Can he make it five? I guess we're about to find out. Now look at Tolly Bertorelli there, not intimidated, I mean. He's just standing there watching and scouting his next opponent. Laser focused. As he wants to win this challenge. Now both men staring at each other there. Tolly Bertoli not understanding why the crowd is behind his opponent. Oh, and there's a, oh, a headbutt by you. Tolly Bertoli. And now the cover. And that's it. The fifth man is out. Oh, and wait a minute. Oh, and a sneak attack now upon Tolly Bertillery, I believe. That is going to be the sixth man. And that did not do so much. Oh, strike there now to the stomach and a headbutt. Oh, big boot to the face. And Tolly Bertillery dedicating his next victim to a fan 
Oh, good night! The cover! That's it! Six! And wait a minute, because there's still one more man waiting. Let's see who it is. Can Tolly Bertolori make it seven? I guess we're about to find out. And there is the seventh man ready to do the job that six men before him were not able to do. Now look at the size now of both men staring at each other. And listen to that trash talking. Tolly Bertoll is still not impressed so far by his seventh challenger of the night. Oh, and Tolly Bertoll there. I believe he's not going to do it. He's not going to do it totally, Bertori. They're just leaving. And the referee counting. Chance of you're a coward to Tolly Bertoli who just left the arena. And that's it. Well, technically, despite running through six men, Tolly lost. challenge to everyone backstage let's go it looks like someone has answered and Theo Storm answers the open challenge so we're gonna have a fight Oh, and wait a minute, there's again another person answering also the challenge. And it's two people. Obviously, I 
yourselves because we're gonna have a triple threat match here. There we go now, the match officially begins and Daniel Stark and Theo Storm wasting little time going after Brutus Dillon and look at Brutus there trying to resist kick now to the midsection as he sent now finally towards the ropes oh and a close line there with both arms Brutus Dillon not afraid of the numbers game taking out both men oh watch this beautiful he's called the Midwest monster for a reason and you can clearly see the dominance so far. Oh, and wait a minute. Theo Storm and Daniel Stark there working together. Oh, and there's a Theo Storm going for the cover. Kick out. He almost stole one there. Super kick to the face. And now Daniel Stark. And a kick out. Oh. Running uppercut there that sends Theo Storm towards the corner. Daniel Stark wasting little time. Attacking the man he worked with earlier in the match. Vertical suplex cover once again. And a kick out. Oh, and Brutus Dillon there trying to get back, but Daniel Stark quick enough to see that and just deliver a drop kick. Throwing him out once again. Now look at Theo Storm now trying to fight back now with those elbows to the back of the neck. And what a powerful strike. And there's Brutus Dillon again taking down. Theo Storm and Daniel Stark making sure that the Midwest monster does not get in the ring. Now Theo Storm in control, punishing Daniel Stark. Now focusing on that neck. Owen, there's a kick. Theo Storm mentioned to Daniel Stark a few seconds ago that it was supposed to be a two on one, but he feels betrayed by Daniel Stark. Oh, and what a chop to the chest. Did you hear the impact? And now Brutus Dillon again receiving another super kick. There's Daniel Stark now sent towards the ropes. Oh, kick to the face. Step up in security. Wow. Now the duck. And down goes Theo Storm. Daniel Stark back in this match. Turning the tables around. Oh, right hand. After another one and a chop now to the chest. Oh, and wait a minute now. Brutus Dillon back in this match. Taking down both men with those close lines. And now Brutus Dillon on fire. Oh, corner close line. And wait a minute, there's a Theo Storm who was able to get away. And now Theo Storm looking forward to capitalize with those right hands. Oh, one after another. And now we're about to witness the chemistry of Theo Storm and Daniel Stark both working together against Brutus Dillon with those right hands again. Oh, and Brutus Dillon just pushing away both. Unbelievable strength and resilience. 
just uh, incredible now corner close line and there's the corner close line on Theo Storm now that finally strikes it oh my goodness both headbutting each other and watch this he's got both men by the neck oh tried there to go for the choke slam Oh, double knee strike to the face. And now, Theo Storm. And there's Daniel Stark answering with a right hand. Bicycle kick to the face. Oh, my God. What a forearm smash that was. And now a duck there by Daniel Stark. Kick there to the knee. Super kick to the face. And here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Wow! Theo Storm from out of nowhere, but wait a minute, there's a Brutus Dillon there, but Theo Storm still in control. Oh, and now Brutus Dillon catching him. Good night! The cover! And that's it! Brutus Dillon wins the triple threat match. He threw out the challenge. And came on top. Despite being in two on one situations many times, the Midwest Master did not crack under the pressure. He found no excuses. He simply overcame the odds. And now he's walking away the winner. Of course, also proud of his performance. And there's the Theostorm refusing to get some assistance there by the referee. Let's get ready for our main event of the night. And there's a man who knows that this could be his night. As he's not only challenging for one championship, but two championships. Ladies and gentlemen, get up on your feet for Javen Mira.
And there is the champion, Isaiah Moore, your Pro Wrestling Kingdom. And Pro Wrestling Kingdom North American champion. Isaiah Moore, also known as the Human Highlight. This man is tall, he is strong, and his moves are just impressive. Listen to the trash talking there by the champion. And not only the championships will be on the line, but also the winner of this match will face Mustafa Ali for the X Division Championship on the upcoming show. So there's a lot on the line. And both men know this. And here we go now, the match officially begins. Oh, and Javen Myra there, wasting little time to cover. And a kick out there by Isaiah Moore, Javen Myra. Unbelievable start. I think he has heard enough of the trash talking by the champion that we heard earlier. And Javen Myra, oh my goodness, again. Oh, what a powerful right hand that was. Oh, and again, look at Isaiah Moore struggling to keep his balance. Oh, what a chop to the chest. Where are you going, boy? Javin Mero not allowing Isaiah Moore to, to catch some seconds of fresh air. Oh. Punishing him right from the start. Trying to inflict as much damage as possible as he knows. It'll get him closer to not only become a, oh, a double champion, but also challenge Mustafa Ali. And there's Isaiah Moore who finally shows it. Signs of being alive in this match. Oh, as he has turned the tables around in this match. Oh, face first there. Oh my God. 
goodness! Listen to the impact of that chop! Now Isaiah Moore sending Javin Myra back to the ring. Stomp there now to the back. Javin Myra in pain. Oh, and there's another stomp. Javin Mera trying to fight back now with those uh, right hands. He's got Isaiah Moore on his knees. Oh, and again another right hand. As he's now sent towards the rope, drop kick that successfully connects. Isaiah Moore on fire. He's got Javin Mera now on that corner. And wasting little time now going after him. Oh! Using that rope there as a weapon. Javid Mara struggling to breathe. Oh, and now stomping that chest with all he's got. Oh, my goodness, elbow drop. Wow! And what a way to turn the tables around, cover! And a kick out, still not enough, Isaiah Moore. Looking at the referee that way. I believe he doesn't understand how that was not a three count. Isaiah Moore now keeping his challenger down on the ground with that headlock. Who now finally gets back on his feet. Javin Myra again trying to fight back. There we go with those elbows to the stomach. Sending Isaiah Moore to the ropes. And a clothesline. There we go. And a second clothesline. Javin Myra trying to gain some momentum. As he's now in full control. He's got it. The human highlight on the corner. Oh my goodness. Isaiah Moore. Using his brain there, he saw him coming. And again, the punishment. Isaiah Moore there trying to lift up Javid Myra who resists. And now those right hands trying his luck once again. Oh! Javin Myra resisting again. Isaiah Moore the one resisting now and it's both men back and forward. Vertical suplex. Wow. Cover now. And a kick out. Incredible power, incredible strength by Javin Myra who was able to deliver the suplex. The vertical suplex but still it is not enough. Oh and Isaiah Moore. Driving Javin Myra into the ropes there. Oh, what a chop to the chest. Isaiah Moore targeting that part of the body of uh, Javin Myra with the elbow drops in. Now, the chops. Javid Mara trying to get away, but Isaiah Moore wasting little time in going after him. Oh, and there's Isaiah Moore sent to the corner. Beautiful corner clothesline. And now, oh, Javid Mara delivering the favor back also with a chop. The control of this match going back and forward between both men. Remember, oh, two championships on the line plus a future championship match against Mustafa Ali for the X Division title. And wait a minute, there's Isaiah Moore. 
turning things around. Now going for the cover. And a kick out. I think the frustration is starting to kick in. I say it more. And now Isaiah Moore left it up. Javin Myra. He's got him up on his shoulders. Oh, Javin Myra there. Landing on his feet, pushing away. Isaiah Moore and a close line. And now Javin Myra again trying to gain some momentum. Oh, and Isaiah Moore saw him coming. Once again, using his quickness and his brain. Oh! And watch this beautiful agility, the cover! And a kick out. He almost stole one there. And Isaiah Moore quickly going there for the headlock as Javin Mara trying to break free. Beautiful leapfrog there. Oh my goodness, down goes that champion. The cover. And a kick out. Still. Not enough. Look at Jevin Myra. Cannot believe that Isaiah Moore kicked out of that. Incredible main event we've watched so far. Both men knowing what's on the line. Here we go now, Isaiah Moore, take a look at this, oh my goodness! Incredible maneuver! I mentioned earlier Isaiah Moore, he's tall, he's strong, and his moves are just impressive. And now Isaiah Moore ready to fly. Climbing up now to the top turnbuckle, he's got Jeff and Myra in position, oh! Nobody home there. Now David Myra ducking German suplex! Wow! And look at David Myra trying to find that adrenaline inside of him! He knows that this could be it, this could change his career! Look at the rage in his face! Left it up now, Isaiah Moore, who tries to desperately resist it. And wait a minute, I believe we, I believe we've got some unexpected guests in the main event. Owen, oh, Jeff, and Myra. Owen, oh, there's even more guests here. Oh, four, I'm smashed to the face, and there's another one. Oh, and now just thrown there into the trash can. Look at Javin Myra there, not losing his focus. Oh, and wait a minute, I say I'm more going for the cover. Oh, and a kick on by Javin Myra. He almost stole one there, Isaiah Moore. Oh, and a powerful clothesline. Now the cover could it be? Oh, and what? What is going on here? What is What is the vice president of talent's relations doing? He just cost Jeff and Myra his match. Javin Myra not, not knowing what to do next now is... Oh, and wait a minute, Isaiah Moore capitalizing. Lifting up now, Javin Myra up on his shoulders. Oh! 
And here we go now! Frog Splash! The cover! Oh, and Javin Myra stays alive! Unbelievable! Look at the face! Of both men and there Isaiah more frustrated telling the vice president of talents relations that he only had one job and that was to count quick. And here we go now Isaiah more once again. Wait a minute, Spine Buster! The cover! Oh, and still not enough. I mean, you can argue about the speed of that count. And Javin Mara there being threatened. If he touches him, he is disqualified. And look at Javin Mara again. He's gonna try his luck once again. They say third time's a charm. And wait a second, what is it? That's Nate Coben from Twist and Flip. What is he doing out here? And there's Darren Fly with the championship on his hand. Javin Myra grabbing Darren Fly by his neck. Oh, low blow. Low blow by Isaiah Moore. From behind. The numbers game playing a huge role. And this match, good night, Javen. Another cover. That's it. Isaiah Moore is still the pro wrestling kingdom and pro wrestling kingdom North American champion. And Isaiah Moore will be the one to challenge Mustafa Ali for the X Division Championship thanks to Twist and Flip. Who delivered the assist? The Pro Wrestling King fans. Making it known that they dislike the finish of the match. As they're not proud of the way Isaiah Moore defended those championships, but by just looking at Isaiah Moore, I don't think he cares. He is still the champion. And he's the one that will face Mustafa Ali. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Pro Wrestling King, thank you for spending your time with us here at May the 4th be with you. I am Kai Johnson and see you soon on the next show.